Boom, boom, boom. Good evening, guys. Uh, this is not true. Uh, how are you, everyone? Thank you for supporting my channel and thank you for sharing and thank you for being a family member in this YouTube community. Today, I want to show you how to make this uh, shape that you see on the console um, using uh, Java for loop. So we can really tweak the for loop uh, to print uh, this different shapes as you see it right here. So the first thing we need to do is, as we always, we need to create a package uh, here. So let me create uh, one Java package. So I'll call it, so in the abstraction, let me call it uh, shapes. So here, so let's create a class in it, uh, Java class. So shapes, I'll create the main method. Alrighty, so let's make it now. So the first shape we are going to make is uh, the rectangle. How we can make the rectangle is we need to use for loop. So for loop, so paint uh, I, on int i equal to zero and i uh, less than or equal to <clears throat> some variable x so we can declare this variable x is a, a static variable so we can do it across all our shape x equal to uh, some number nine and that is an integer of course all right, let's see, let's print some with this just axis, one axis with the integer i. So let's print this star. And let's show what it looks like. Boom. All right, let me put this console on the side so we can see it together. All right, as you see, vertical line is printed. All right, let's add another axis, which is uh, one the vertical and uh, the other the horizontal one. So which is another for loop. So in uh, J, uh, which will call be same as like I, which is starts on zero. And J of course lives on a uh, number that X and it is increment. Alrighty, so let's start in this loop so we can bring this star to be printed based on these two conditions. And let's see what it looks like. Boom. See, all those lines are connected vertically down. And if I print it on the horizontal line, so we can see, all right, horizontal line as you see it. If I add one space here and see on the console, you can see spaces added between everything. All right, so to print each line, like after this code, so let's say i is zero and uh, j will be zero. And j is of course uh, true and this condition is true, this condition is true, and this will be printed. So we have a printout of uh, nine stars and the next nine stars will be printed on the second line. So to do that, we will do says out, uh, and we'll do just a space here. So which means that we'll bring uh, the rest of everything to each line. So we have a rectangle or square here. So to see that, uh, so as you see, this rectangle is printed here and we can tweak this code to uh, get uh, some other shapes. All right, this, let's call this one shape number one. And let's copy this shape number two. What if, if we do uh, uh, this eye 
t j is less than x the variable x that we have this is nine what if, if we give it to the variable i so you see how this give us then that will give us a triangle that will train the upper part of um, and the uh, rectangle good and let's copy and paste this code to make another shape here all right that is shape number three so so what we can do is um, here so we can print let's use some other uh, instead of star let's use some um, my first name letter b and let's see how it looks like so the triangle is i just uh, decrease that space between b and of course we can add um, Uh, some other um, shape. So let's tweak here. Um, boom, boom. One of the codes, X over Y. So we can say integer I equals zero, I, I less on X and I plus plus I is incremented. J is incrementing here, but uh, J is depending on the value of I. Um, so let's copy this upper code, or we can add some other code here at the bottom. So another for loop, which is int I equal to uh, X. So we can print out the reverse of this. So we can make it like this kind of shape. So let's see what, what I mean. All right. So that i is greater than uh, uh, or equal to zero. And i will be uh, in decreasing, decreasing. And in this loop, please print out some other number or letter code C. Let's see what this uh, will print for us. C, C is printed, although at the bottom, these are nine of them are printed down here. Alrighty, so let's add something down right here. If I print it on the same line, so this will give me like this. If I put some space in the front, that will line with B as you see it. All right. So here, so let me add another uh, for loop, which is the J. So we can use the other axis for int J uh, equal to I and J is greater than zero and J is of course a decrement in this case and let's bring this one inside the first loop right here and we can see here this out space just the space let's see what this will code uh, give us and uh, see this right so this will give us the reverse of b exactly here of course i added one here so we can uh here we can do i minus one so to uh, break that one but if you need a sharp sharp one so we can use either i or either j if we use i, we just plus one from x. So that will bring uh, one of them here already. So to make it um, 
same I can use later in state of being see we can use add sign for both the loops here and we can have it boom all right so we have done so far uh, the third shape here all right let's do the fourth one last week um, the shape the rectangle one so we can tweak it somehow copy here and paste it and shape number uh, four so let's tweak this one to print something in it so if you print and change it this to some e later so we can see this so I want to replace the middle square, the middle square across this and across this uh, with some other variable or just empty. So what we can do is if we can use level one if right here, it's closed. Uh, and we're gonna put some condition, which is if I equal to zero, and j equal to zero. So we can print this e. Else, so we can print nothing. You know, right, guys? And that line uh, is it printed, it should be printed along with this based on the condition. And here, uh, finally, we need to uh, uh, print just space. So let me see what this number four will print us. As you see, so this is where I and J are equal to zero. And this E, the rest is printed See, as you see it in the mid in between, there is nothing because I gave it like to print empty. So if I give it like some letter Y here, so you see the difference where it is printed. See, between E and E, Y is printed where the condition is not met, which is in the uh, else block right here. So to bring this 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 line uh, into uh, uh, like the rectangle uh, format, so we need to tweak it uh, as follows. All right, so I'll bring this line out of this loop and I put it here. So let's see how that does for us. Boom. See, so we have that. Um, to see. Uh, to add another line on the right far side, let me add another condition inside the loop. And uh, we can say where i equal to uh, the value of x. And of course, we can say j uh, equal to the value of x. So let's see what this will bring up. So J is less than, so we need to put uh, that equal to, so we can say uh, J can, I mean, X can be uh, at some point the value of X and J. So we can see this is printed. So to put this line E to the far right side, so we need to count the character spacing in the printout method. So we have one, two, that's one, two, three. So we need to make three in Y2, so which is one, two, three. Now we should line up exactly how this is right here. So Y is surrounded by E. If you want to uh, empty the inside of it, so we can just uh, replace with that space and this is this is it 
Alrighty, now uh, let's go and print. Um, Uh, some plus sign or word cross, so we can use uh, uh, the same loop that uh, we created here in the if close, and we can just tweak uh, the shape number four. So I can just copy this and paste it here, shape number five, and so we have this. Uh, I equal to uh, zero, uh, I is on R equal to X, I plus plus, and for int J equal to zero, uh, J is on R equal to X, and J is incrementing also. And in the if clause, so what we can say is in the half part of, like where the half part of uh, X, so we can, write down that code here. So where I equal to, uh, we can cast it to, when we uh, divide x, which is nine divided by two, it will be double. So we can cast it to end here. x divided by two and J equal to uh, integer x divided by two, which means in the middle. When x is, I mean, i is at the middle of x and j is at the middle of x, so that's the cross part. So we'll print this code e, or we can change this one to some other. I'll write this number. So else in the S block, we'll just print uh, some other variable like uh, let's do it B. So to make sure this is equal, one, two, three, four character links, and we need to have four character links here too. So one, two, three. So we need to add one space either on the left or in the right side. Uh, and here, so just have space. So let's see what this will give us. So we'll input uh, one line here to see. Uh, so we'll put for the search end, that is a new line. So that will break us. So as you see it, so the star is printed here. So I can say um, x plus five here to put it in the middle. Where i is less than or equal to x plus five. That will bring this that grows to the upper side of uh, the thing. And if you see here, uh, the middle of the cross, we see one, two, three, four. And here on the right side, it is uh, five. So we can reduce by eliminating this equal sign on J. So that will bring equal four and four on the left and the other side. Alrighty, now, Let's remove this B. So you can see, we can eliminate B. Yeah, gross in. All right, of course, we can decrease this X by one. Uh, and B one space right here, of course. So we can push this, the middle bar to the middle right here. Alrighty, now let me see if that's the cross. That's the cross shape, guys. Is it good? Um, I hope you had fun uh, printing shapes and you can just, we can limitedly this, this for loop.
and print a number of shapes. So if you have some special shapes that you have in, you can share the code below and you can find this code and other codes in my website. Uh, here, if you go to, um, uh, for example.com you'll see uh, this is my blog site and if you go to the softwares and pcs you can have java shapes here so you can have uh, the shapes they are right here already enjoy guys i hope you like it uh, if you uh, then subscribe please consider to subscribe to my channel and love you guys have fun. See you.